the last song. And uh, I pray that after the music stops, that the focus will be on you, Lord. People will see you for who you are and worship you with their lives. Cam, share your heart with us. Abortion is a topic that many Christians and atheists disagree on. They disagree on this because they have differences in the belief of what is the beginning of life. A Christian believes that the beginning of life is based on Psalms 139, 13 through 14, which says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that God, full well. Almighty, and Father, I worship you. I worship you, yes. Father, so as you can I see, abortion is wrong to a Christian because life begins at conception. Lord, now, an atheist would believe abortion is right because they believe that life begins at birth and the first I breath. Worship you. Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you're my banner. In vitro fertilization is a topic where Christians only believe is okay in a certain scenario. That scenario is when the, there are no embryos left over in the freezer to chill. If there are embryos left over, Christians believe that it is not okay because these embryos are still life. When they're put in a a freezer, they're basically just kept there and eventually will die off, which is just as bad as abortion because you are ruining the sanctity of life. Euthanasia is defined as the act of putting to death painlessly or allowing to die, as by withholding extreme medical measures. The atheist and Christian worldview differ on this topic because the Christians believe that it is the doctor's primary role to promote life at all costs, while the atheist may say that the, it is the patient's life so he gets to choose when he is to live or die. As Christians, we believe that this would be considered murder, both for the patient and for the doctor committing this act. The patient has no right to decide whether he is to live or to die. That is God's role. The doctor also has no right to take his or her life, and this is why Christians believe that euthanasia is wrong. And Father, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Capital punishment is a hotly debated topic within Christianity. Many people differ in their opinions on whether or not capital punishment is justified by the Bible. But in Romans 13 verse 4, God clearly gives the government the power to carry out capital punishment. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. God of peace and Father I A Christian's worldview on right or wrong is based off of the Bible and what God tells us. And as you can clearly see in Romans 13:4. God condones the use of capital punishment for those who have broken the law and that the government has this authority.